Hello again painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and today I'm black, 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 black. Do you remember that? If you're British you probably would have seen the fast show if you're any age like mine and they always had this guy who was uh, painting, he was out doing a landscape, a, a man and a woman and they were talking and everything was fine and then suddenly one of them would mention black and he'd start shouting black, 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 black and run around like a crazy thing and it was the same every week but it was just hilarious. Anyway today, black, 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 black. So I thought I would work with some metallics and maybe try and do a negative space painting. So I've not done one of those for a while. So I'm going to try and put like a splash of metallics across the center and then leave the rest black. But that's my plan. So who knows how it will turn out. I have got the Liquitex Basics colors in a bronze and a copper. They're kind of similar. The bronze is a bit darker. I actually prefer the copper but I've decided to use both and then just my regular economy acrylic in a gold. I've mixed all of the paints up in advance so I've got my three colours here and I mixed the paint around um, one part Floetrol to two parts paint and then a water as necessary um, about less than one part water anyway. So these are my paints and I thought I would just kind of put them on there. I've got a straw on hand. I don't really have a plan today. Well, I've got a vague plan. I've got a vague plan that I'm going to have one colour here, the other colour here and then the gold in the, in the middle and kind of spread the gold out. But eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's just pour a few things on and, uh, and see how it goes, shall we? Let's zoom in just a little bit more. So I thought if I put the bronze kind of on one side... And I don't really have any plan about how I'm going to lay these out. I'll just put them kind of like this and we'll see what happens. So I'm going with the bronze on this one side and then do something similar with the copper on the other side. And then put some gold in the middle kind of the same kind of thing and I thought if I blew the paint and kind of spread it out that it might look cool but who knows let's see let's put a bit of gold in there oops quite heavy handed with gold I had not intended to put that much there we go as usual I can have a plan but it never works out so we just spread it around a little bit to start and let the colours kind of move with each other a little bit. I want to leave plenty of black, so I do want the colours to spread a little bit, but at the same time I want to be able to see some black through, hopefully, as well as on the sides. And we'll see how it works out. I'm not entirely sure. I'm already liking this um, bronze colour. It looks a bit like a, um, like a hot chocolate. Um, and at the moment it's kind of dull. But I know that's the flow troll for the most part and when it dries it should hopefully go a bit more um, shiny and vibrant a bit more like it is in the packet but it's kind of well we'll see so let's give it a go with the with the straw and see oh oh I've got um stuff on my hands let me see if I can oh no I've got it on the cloth okay I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> See, there we go. I'm going to have to fill this in or wipe this off with a, a damp cloth afterwards. I've got a couple of wet wipes on hand. I can just do that. So, let's see what happens if I give it a little blow about. Am I liking it? I'm not sure. Oh, it looks kind of almost like a leaf shape now. Maybe I am liking it. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. paint there that I probably need to just blow around a little bit. Let's 
So, what do I think? Well, I think it has turned out as I was expecting. There's not much to it. Um, I've got uh, a few cells turned up here and there where some of the paint has blown over some of the other colours and created some interesting effects. And here, where I've blown the paint quite thin, you can see the texture of the, um, the canvas coming through, which is nice. But I've got a big, thicker patch just there that I probably need to try and just blow over the side here. Let me see, because I don't want it to end up... Um, oh, and there's a little lump of something there. Let's get that out. Okay, just a little bit over the side. Does that look better? I'm looking up to see it in the, the viewfinder somehow. Seeing it in the viewfinder helps me decide whether I like it or not. So I think I like it. As I've probably put a bit too much paint on. It's a bit heavy handed in the centre. I wanted a little bit more black to come through. But I like how thinly they've been blown on the sides and that you can see the texture in that through. I think where I've got some copper coming off this side, I'm just going to blow this block bronze so that that comes off this corner too. And then it just runs down a little bit down the side of the canvas, which I like the look of. So that was a quick and easy one. I really didn't need to do very much to that to get the kind of look that I was going for and I actually like it. Now at the moment of course it looks a little bit dull but I'm hoping once it dries and the, um, the flow troll goes clear that it will actually get a little bit more sparkle and things come through these paints. But if you wanted to do you know something just very simple, very quick, a little bit of um, splash of colour on a negative space, in this case black, but you could do white or you could do any colour you like, then you know this is a very simple technique. So let me bring you down and show you some of these details. So there's the whole painting and as you look down you can see some of these areas that I was mentioning where the paint is thinner and you can see the texture of the canvas and everything come through. It'll be interesting to see what that looks like when it dries um, and whether the, the black comes through a bit more, makes more of a, a contrast with it. And then we've got some areas you know, where the paint is thicker and it's mixing and we've got some thinner and thicker areas again around the outsides. So it's pretty much as I was expecting, as at the moment the colours aren't as um, shimmery, but I'm hoping that they will be when, they'll, when they dry. So if you can hang around just a couple of minutes longer, I'm actually going to dry this and varnish it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So here we are, finished, glossed and ready to go off to its new home. And uh, as you can see, the metallics have come a lot more bright and sparkly and metallic again now. Now that the paint has dried, it's a little bit difficult to, uh, to see it. Because if I show it in front of the light, you just get the glare of the light rather than the sparkle of the metallic. But it does look very good. So this was a really, really simple painting. And if you're just starting out with pouring, or if you're just starting out with painting and you want to give something like this a go, it's very simple. It looks quite dramatic. You know, if you use the uh, metallic paints against the, the dark black background, and especially in the kind of autumn colors that I've got here, it's easy to blow it out into a kind of leaf shape. And hopefully you'll get a result a little bit like this one. So thank you very much for watching and following along. I hope to see you over at acrylicpouring.com very soon.